Hey everyone, it's Aaron with Mountain Biking Adventures and I finally got the East Side Perimeter Trail aka ESP all roughed in and I want to stress it is very rough. Lots of switchbacks still need to be dialed in and all that good stuff but we're gonna go ahead and ride it today. Also, if you notice, we got our Everstoke shirts. Link is in the description below. Please check it out if you're interested. Let's go check out that trail. Okay, I'm just leaving the shred quarters, heading over towards the east side perimeter trail. The rain was pretty devastating out here. We got about 17 inches somewhere in this area, one of the locals had said. And uh, anyway, I'll take the word for it. We had to at least have about 10 inches. It just was pretty devastating. Oh, let's get this stuff warmed up. Holy crap, it's cold in the mornings. Can't wait to kick off this climb because I'm freezing my testes off. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the trailhead. It's probably gonna be super challenging. Nobody's been over there. We gotta get some riders out here. Start packing it in. Still haven't really packed in the trail much. Okay, here we go. First part. Oh, oh I gotta shift way down. I'm happy I scouted out the trail and the drainage so far seems to be really good. A few spots I need to work on. Okay. Very nice. And this section's all been on my videos before. We're now coming up to Letter Rip. Oh man, a little damp in here. The fog really sets in. Ooh. Poor brakes. So damp. All right, this is rough cut from here on out. So I'll put, let me catch my breath. Oh my God. Okay, to the left, this is a rough cut. Straight is the east side perimeter trail. I haven't made any video on this except maybe me hiking it. Let's check it out. Oh, this is crazy right here. Oh, freight train. Let's scare away any bears. There we go. Just got all this done a couple days ago. Nice. Okay, that is awesome. This is all fresh. Cut. Oh yeah, this is nice. Okay. It's kind of a sharp switch back. Just open that up a little bit, but it's doable. 
Uh oh. Uh, oh, I got that. That switch back. It's not even gonna. Not even gonna try right now. This one needs a lot of work. I gotta catch my damn breath. It's killing me this morning. Up ahead. This is gonna be the skinny. Still gotta move into the position and finish building that out. Oh, crying. <laughs> Defeated by my own feature. This will have to get packed in. I stole a lot of my speed coming into this. I decided to leave these logs. Okay, it's all rideable so far. All gonna be doable. Okay. I'm hoping Brian will be able to make a video of this trail soon. I wanna see how well he does since he rides all the time. That's a sweet little area. All right, not bad. Cool. All right, switch back. No, I don't have the legs today. Two more. Brutal switchbacks. This is the log that Brian and I chopped on in the one video. Get past those last two switchbacks. The rest should be pretty easy. There's a steep climb right here though. Punchy and short, no problem. Okay, Mello's out right here. And that's the end of the trail for now. Takes you to the top of kill zones right here. Then all I have to do is bomb down or we could turn around and go back down. And eventually we'll have some more lines cut in. And this will be a great downhill section right here. I am the first mountain biker to ride this with a mountain bike. Oh, let's get these brakes warmed up. It's pretty exciting having our own trails. I can't wait to actually start dialing all these in now, adding the features and everything and alternate lines. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a really cool downhill trail. A 
because right here is going to be a, a a line going down I look at all that fog out there lifting that's super cool what a great view gotta do some panorama for you guys is these are some of the views we get from Everstoke and that looks really awesome super foggy last night sun's coming out it's all burning off very cool Nice. I had a little speed that time. Oh. I'll open up that a little bit more. Since that's a real steep climb, and that goes back to all the stuff I already made on video several times, I'm gonna turn around, ride this in one more time, and I'm gonna finish up the ride with Kill Zone. Okay, I just finished climbing up the ESP side, right at the top of Kill Zone. We're gonna see how that rides today. So it's a little bonus, bonus footage. If you guys haven't seen Killzone before, stick around. If you've already seen it, I made a video of it before. Uh, don't blame me for bailing out on my video early. Let's see how uh, Killzone rides now that it's all kind of moist. Oh, really? I just dried my brakes out not too long ago. Oh, yeah. Nice. That works way better. Oh, God. I'm going to spruce it up here a little bit in the future, maybe. I don't know. It flows really nice. A little bit more sun would be perfect. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna ride the jump line just to see how it feels. I don't plan on hitting the jumps. But I'll finish up with these. Okay, that's the first one. Just roll it in. This is where we'll have the drop. Ah, not too bad. Yeah. And that's where the base of kill zone goes. But that's got wrecked from the weather, so we're not gonna hit that. We're heading back to base camp. Let's see some of the game cameras Brian puts all over the place. It's gonna put a bunch more out here. 
All right, that was really cool. I hope you guys liked that uh, video of Killzone and ESP Trail, the East Side Perimeter Trail. Remember, we are gonna spruce these up quite a bit. That's gonna wrap it up for today. Please don't forget about the shirts. Link in the description below. That helps me stay out here building and everything else. I do appreciate you guys following along on all my builds and rides. And remember, if you guys want to make life an adventure, grab your mountain bike and go ride. Thank you very much.